head over to meteorologist Kate Bilo in the Hyundai Next Weather Sphere. Good morning once again, Kate. Good morning to you, Jim. We continue to track Hurricane Melissa as it prepares to make landfall along the coast of Jamaica as a Category 5 hurricane. Let's talk about what to expect with Melissa, and then we'll move over to our forecast, which is getting a little more interesting as well with the next weather alert already issued for Thursday. But here is Melissa. Look at the size and scope of this storm. This is Jamaica here. You can see that eye now making a little bit more of a, a faster forward progress slightly. It's moving at about five miles an hour to the north, but is very, very close to making landfall along the southwestern coast coast of Jamaica, and that will likely happen between now and noon. So here's what you need to know again. Landfall by midday along the southwest coast, catastrophic flooding. Uh, we've already seen upwards of a foot of rain in some spots. We could see up to three feet of rain, not inches, feet, 36 plus inches in spots before all is said and done. Plus where this makes landfall, right? Uh, right, uh, basically north and east of the advancing eye wall. That's where you're going to see the worst of the storm surge. 13 foot storm surge is possible. You couple that with two to three three feet of rain and you're talking again catastrophic flooding life threatening storm surge and now there is higher terrain a lot of people tend to evacuate to the higher terrain which is a good idea but we've also got these destructive winds this is a category 5 hurricane so winds are sustained at 175 miles an hour and gusts could be even higher than that that has basically the damage impact of an ef5 tornado moving through but on a larger scale so destructive winds will also be a very very large concern with melissa let's pivot to our forecast here at home because it doesn't look like we're going to see any impacts locally from Melissa, but the storm that is responsible from, for moving Melissa further out to sea is eventually going to impact us by the time we get into Thursday. Let's start with today, though, and if you're about to step outside, here's what you need to know. It's a little bit of a chilly morning, especially north and west. We've got a lot of 30s out there in Coatesville and Pottstown, Allentown as well. Wilmington's at 43 and Philadelphia sitting at 45 degrees, a little bit milder near the coast where we're getting more of that onshore flow, and that's something you're going to notice throughout today and tomorrow. Basically, the winds just starting to really pick up off the Atlantic Ocean, and that's exactly what we don't need down the shore in the wake of the nor'easter from earlier this month. That could lead to coastal flooding and beach erosion as our next storm approaches on Thursday. We do have a frost advisory this morning. I tend to think we're not going to get widespread frost in South Jersey just because of the cloud cover. Parts of Bucks and Delaware counties may still see some frost this morning, though. Areas that do not see that first frost will continue to get frost advisories until it happens. So we'll bring that to you every time we get one. Satellite and radar showing one storm moving by to the south. It is producing some cloud cover in South Jersey and Delaware. This is the storm, though, that is going to be responsible for bringing us wind and rain on Thursday, but then also keeping Melissa out to sea. So it's a good thing and a bad thing. A bit of a double edged sword for us. Your next 48 hours showing the cloud cover increasing. There may be a shower this evening down the shore and then the winds are going to pick up the pace as well. So that breeze is going to make it feel much cooler than it has over the past couple days. A northeast wind bringing a few showers, cloud cover mainly from the city on south and east later today. We'll see some sunshine out there tomorrow. Can't rule out a sprinkle, but the winds could gust as high as 25 miles an hour. And then tomorrow night into Thursday, here comes our next weather alert, our next rainmaker. And this is going to produce some pockets of heavy rain for the morning commute, especially west of the city. And then through the afternoon, just bands of rain continuing to lift through the area. We could see a good one to two inches of rain. Now we do need a good soaking rain, so this is not the worst thing in the world. We are in abnormally dry and even moderate to severe drought conditions, but this is going to really slow you down and that wind along the coast will lead to the risk for again minor coastal flooding as well as possible beach erosion, something we'll have to keep an eye on. Also, there could even be a thunderstorm as that system makes its way through the region, but then it clears out just in time for Halloween. So that's good news. The sun returning on your Friday and we'll keep it seasonable with sunshine for the first weekend of November.